Joining us now is Alex Kantrowitz. He's founder of the Big Technology Newsletter and a CNBC contributor. Alex, uh, good to see you. This is, um, I guess, a blow that's been threatened for some time. The industry uh, generally trying to forestall it, but maybe uh, it is now here as a more imminent threat. What elements do you think are most relevant to big tech's business models to those companies that would directly be targeted here? We're talking about bundling of, of services as well as uh, perhaps some blockade, blockades to further M&A. Oh, man, it's all relevant. I mean, this package of bills has everything in it, funding the regulators, uh, preventing self-dealing uh, inside the platforms. A company like Amazon can't siphon data from third-party merchants if this thing passes. And then, of course, there's the uh, act that's being introduced by Pramila Jayapal, uh, who is in Washington state, which would basically give the DOJ uh, full authority to break up these companies. So if this stuff passes and is signed into law, it's just the end of big tech as we know it, the end, the complete end of big tech as we know it. Well, end of big tech as we know it in terms of these platforms continually, I suppose, reinforcing uh, their franchises and essentially redeploying the data and trying to cross sell uh, through the platforms. But uh, I wonder just like if Google was unable to surface its own internal uh, links, uh, the things that are part of its own business in search results, would that really change the game or are we just talking about, you know, moderating their profitability a little bit? 100 percent. I mean, if you think about the success of Google's ancillary products, I'm not talking about search, but I'm talking about things like maps and shopping and YouTube. Uh, all of these have had benefited greatly from getting uh, premium placement on one of the most important pages on the entire Internet, which is Google search results. And so if you tell Google it can't do that, or if you tell Amazon, hey, listen, you can't uh, put your white label or private label products uh, in the search result in premium places that they wouldn't get otherwise, that does have an impact. Now, I don't think this is the end of big tech companies. I just think it's the end of big tech as we know it. These companies have gained a leg up on competitors and third parties by giving themselves preferential treatment uh, in their own search results and on their own products. So that would have to end. And again, like I'd go back to Pramila Jayapal's uh, uh, bill, which would give the DOJ authority to break these companies up. Do I think this is all going to happen? No, I think it will eventually be watered down through the political process. Some might make it through, some might not. But I think if we see the five bills uh, enacted in the form that they are today, it would be a significant blow to the way that these companies do business. Alex, I know you're not a lawmaker, but if even if it is watered down, which company do you think might be most at risk with what's potentially on the table here? Is it Amazon if they have to separate AWS from its retail business when obviously AWS helps fuel and fund that retail business? Or is it Google if it has to you lose YouTube or Facebook if it has to lose in, Insta, uh, Instagram and WhatsApp? Yeah, I would be I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this stuff impacts every single one of them. Uh, obviously, an Amazon would be really tough for them because AWS kind of is the core, right? It, it, it's what allows the um, it, it powers Alexa. It do, it allows the um, the retail business to be able to serve different volumes. It's obviously a cash printer for it. Google, of course, would have issues as well. So it would be disruptive to all businesses. And think about the amount of time they'd have to put in to comply with these regulations. That being said, you know, I don't know if a spinoff is necessarily going to be a value killer, uh, because if you have AWS as one company and Amazon retail as another and, you know, maybe the echo and the hardware business as another, you might end up seeing value creation and stock going up for all of these companies. Uh, so I guess it, I guess it really just uh, depends on what the final product will look like. Uh, but it would certainly be extremely disruptive to all. And, you know, people have been saying, oh, Microsoft is sitting back and, light and laughing here. But it would impact Microsoft, too. I mean, they also have, you know, businesses that could potentially have irreconcilable conflicts of interest, things like Azure and an operating system. So I wouldn't count them out as being affected by this as well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.